Lighting up to a movie is always an enjoyable experience. Hell, half the time it doesn't matter what the film itself is about. There you go. You got it. However, there are those movies that strike just the right chord and they are considered stoner gems. So here you have a top 15 list with the best stoner movies. On 15, Reefer Madness. This classic from the 1930s is a ridiculous portrayal of anti-marijuana propaganda of the time. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. It tells a story that focuses around the highly exaggerated and made-up effects of using marijuana. A group of drug dealers lead innocent teenagers astray by getting them addicted to reefer, which results in wild parties and rebellious jazz music. It's a pretty big giggle. In this film you will see the ease with which this vicious plant can be grown in your neighbor's yard, rolled into harmless looking cigarettes. On 14, Ted. Do you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Had, had. Ted is a fairly recent movie from the creator of Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane. It revolves around John Bennett, who as a result of a childhood wish, is granted a living teddy bear. Whilst this sounds like an awesome childhood fantasy, the movie focuses on the later years, when both John and Ted are grown up. Ted takes you on an adventure as one of the duo, who had previously enjoyed his life of smoking and partying, but decides it's time to grow up. Look, I know it sucks, okay? But you gotta make some money so you can pay for an apartment. I, I don't wanna work at a grocery store. Yeah, but you have no skills. I told you I can totally be a lawyer. You get the job, we're celebrating after, okay? Uh-huh. And if I don't get the job, are we still gonna smoke that pot? Probably, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Good talk, coach. Thanks. All right, buddy. Go get it. On 13, Puff Puff Pass. Puff Puff Pass is an American comedy that sees two stoners become embroiled in a criminal plot to cheat the shady figure only known as Mr. Big. Of course, things don't always go according to plan. Damn right it's inspirational. On 12, Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express that sees two stoners mixed up in a pretty bad mess when one of them accidentally witnesses a murder. What starts out as a desperate attempt to stay one step ahead of the killers quickly turns into much, much more. Makes everything better, makes food taste better, makes music better, makes sex feel better, for God's sakes. It makes shitty movies better, you know? On 11, Mr. Nice. Mr. Nice is a fairly recent crime drama based on the true story of Howard Marks, a British kingpin of drug smuggling who ran one of the biggest global cannabis smuggling rings of the 1960s to early 80s. What was the purpose of a visit? Studying beneficial herbs. <laughs> On 10, Paul. Sure. <laughs> it's pretty strong shit. I get it from the military, actually. This is the stuff that killed Dylan. Bob Dylan's not dead. Isn't he? Starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, Paul is the tale of two British comic book geeks traveling across America. Their admiration for the geeky and cult drives them to a location of Area 51, where they meet Paul. A journey of hilarity quickly ensues. You don't have a fucking spaz attack. I did not have a spaz attack. Don't do it again. Get your fucking dwarf. Get your fucking fingers out of there. If I get a dwarf infection, you're dead. Oh my On nine, Ali G in the house. Gonna get killed. Hey, yo, yo, GSC, LAPD, man. Ali G, a fictional British wannabe gangster, famous for conducting comical interviews with real life and often unaware public figures, stars in his own movie. In this film debut, he unwittingly finds himself climbing the political ladder as a devious politician's plan backfires again and again. On 8, Fast Times at Richmond High. Often considered one of the finest films of the teen comedy genre, Fast Times at Richmond High takes you on an adventure of sex, drugs and partying as it follows the exploits of a group of teenagers going through the trials of being young. Namely, trying to get laid and have a good time. Again? Mr. Pizza Guy, sir. Four of the deviled cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. On seven, How High. 
How High is a stoner comedy starring the real-life rappers Method Man and Rap Man. Big-time smokers, the two get their hands on some magical weed that boosts brain power, allowing them to ace an entrance exam into Harvard University, where things begin to take a comical turn. No cigar? No! Fuck, fuck, bitch! Got blunt? Got weed? On 6, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Two highly likable stoners set out on a journey to satisfy their food cravings at the White Castle fast food joint. However, the task turns out to be more difficult than they anticipated, as the duo is taken on a journey of laughs, deep thoughts, and deeper inhaling. Why? We don't have time for questions. We need marijuana now, as much of it as possible. Like a big bag of it. On 5, Grandma's Boy. Grandma's Boy follows the story of Alex. <laughs> Don't judge me, monkey. A 35-year-old computer game tester who, through misfortune, has to move in with his grandma and her two friends. Surrounded by lively and humorous friends and co-workers, this coming-of-age tale will have you in fits of laughter. It's like Cypress Hill concert in here. And if you take one extra minute, I have my two friends. They take your testicles and remove them through your anus. Deal. Nice man. On four, Days and Confused. What I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> Another team comedy, Days and Confused follows the random activities of a group of Texan high schoolers as they celebrate the arrival of summer with partying, pot, and beer. This one is an all time classic and a must see for anyone who calls themselves a stoner. He was just asking if you get high. Yeah, like some pot. <laughs> yeah. Um. On three, half baked. What do you guys want? Get some sour cream and onion chips with some dip, man. Some beef jerky, some peanut butter. Get some Hagen Dazs ice cream bars, a whole lot of hot. Make sure chocolate. Half Baked is an old school, feel good comedy that sees three stoners come up with a series of elaborate schemes to try and get their friend out of jail. A scavenger smoker is someone who never has weed of their own. But as soon as you smoke it, here they come. Damn! What up, dog? Damn. What's up, dog? Scoot over. Let me get in here, man. What y'all doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, it's chilling. On to the Cheech and Chong trilogy. I'm not doing work for nobody but you. These three movies are all things stoner, and are a basis for most stoner comedy. It follows the exploits of these two legendary potheads as they coast through life. Yeah, a quarter pounder, man. <laughs> Let's the blood. And at number one, The Big Lebowski. Huh. The tale of a stoner bowler and a classic case of mistaken identity. Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the fucking money, shithead? Lebowski becomes embroiled in a crime caper when he is mistakenly confused for a different man. With the help of his bowling buddies, he sets out to right the wrongs that were done to him. They come and they pee on your fucking rug! Am I wrong? No. Am I wrong? Yeah, but... Okay, then. <clears throat> that rug really tied the room together, did it not? Fucking A. This guy peed on it. Donnie, please. And that concludes our top 15 stoner movies. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Fuck, Walter.